Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the Max Tip video series. And in this uh, video, we are going to talk about uh, the properties of an object. So we have two distinct objects here. One is of type uh, geometry and another is of type uh, helper. So for any given object, we can get the class of the object by saying class of uh, selection one. And we have cylinder and we can get the super class of the selection like that. So to get the properties of a specific object, what we can also do is we can use the keyword show properties and the object. And if you see, we have all the properties for the specific cylinder right here. And we can also tweak the property. Like let's say we want to change the height to it is 13 point, uh, sorry, it is 31.293. We'll just change it to 20. And there you go. So we reduce the height of this specific object. But there are certain properties that are not still visible, like the name. If I say name, it's got the name of cylinder, but it is not listing it out in the properties. Uh, why is it so? Is because you know, as we saw in the previous video, Max has its own way of classifi classifying objects. Uh, and now let's track down the hierarchy of classes. So how do we track down the hierarchy of classes is, we say class of the selector object, which is cylinder. And then we are going to check the class of cylinder. Cylinder is of type geometry class. And then we are going to check the type of geometry class which is node and node basically the class of node is max wrapper and the class of max wrapper is value and so we saw the class uh, which is node and this node class is basically a class which has the rest of the properties so if i would like to do show properties node it will not show any properties because it's not an object in the scene, but we have derived from it. So the way to get properties of classes is to write get prop names, which is another keyword by Max. It's a method, and we uh, give it a class. And now you see you have name, position, rotation, scale. So instead of scrolling, we'll do uh, this. We'll say print this. And this is the whole list of properties that we have. From name position to basically if it is deleted, if you have a no reference, the wire color, and all those properties that you have. So uh, guys, it is very important to know what kind of an object we are working with and what class hierarchy does it have. Similarly, if you go and check the class hierarchy of this, if I have to see the class of uh, We have a point and class of a point is a helper and class of a helper is a node. So eventually everything is derived from a node and a node is a common uh, class here and every object is going to be a node. So whenever you want to access properties of a class, you can use get prop names. And if you want to see the properties of a helper, it's empty. If you want to see a property of a cylinder, these are the properties of cylinder. If you want to see properties of a teapot, these are the properties of teapot. And from this video, we know that node is a very basic object which uh, has a lot of properties and you can access them through its child classes. And the child classes like cylinder, point, uh, lights, cameras, whatever it is, they will have their own specific properties. The reason is because every node cannot have a radius. If this is a node and this is a node, a point will never have a radius. So I hope uh, this video was a bit helpful. It was a bit uh, deep in the programming part or the programming side, but it will definitely help you out in understanding how Mac structures its entities and objects. So that is it for this video. And thank you so much for watching.